Have you ever considered the consequences of exposing your wounds to others? It's important to realize that the more you reveal your pain, the more people may desire to touch those wounds. Not only that, but they may also try to worsen your situation by infecting those wounds further. Let's consider an example to illustrate this point. Imagine that your company has recently gone bankrupt, and you openly display your despair and vulnerability. In such a scenario, people may approach you, offering pats on the back and feign sympathy. However, behind their seemingly supportive facade, they start observing every detail to humiliate you. They take pleasure in sharing stories about how foolish and irresponsible you were, turning your misfortune into a subject of mockery. If you display sadness, desperation, or frustration, these individuals will seize the opportunity to exacerbate the situation. Their objective is to feel superior in the face of your chaos. Unfortunately, this behavior can be attributed to a kind of mental illness that afflicts some individuals. There are people so internally and externally troubled that they derive satisfaction from tearing others down. It's no wonder that in today's society, people often scoff at those who claim to have depression, particularly if the person is wealthy or famous. For many, the mere fact of being affluent or living a comfortable life is seen as almost criminal. And if they discover that you're dealing with a more serious problem, they revel in it. Hence, it's crucial to learn how to act as though nothing affects you, regardless of the challenges, anxieties, or mistakes you face. The less you reveal to others, the better. Now, it's up to you to handle things independently or seek professional help instead of relying on others. As mentioned earlier, when people become aware of your problems, things often worsen due to gossip and jokes. So, when you encounter personal problems or any issues affecting you, remember not to open up to everyone. Believe that you can resolve these problems on your own without desperately begging for assistance. Maintain your dignity, adhere to your values, and adopt a calm and balanced posture. Overcome emotionally what troubles you and tackle the issues you need to resolve. The less you disclose to others, the clearer it becomes that finding a solution is not as insurmountable as it may initially seem. Trust me, those who claim that everything is exceedingly difficult are simply blind to their own weaknesses. In the face of life's multitude of possibilities, it's necessary to act correctly and keep moving forward because that's how life operates. Fall seven times and stand up eight. With persistence and effort, each attempt becomes easier day by day. Knowing this, do not allow negative feelings to consume you, and refuse to let anything or anyone destroy your spirit and motivation. Rise up and carry yourself as if nothing could disturb you. In doing so, you will shield yourself from the desperate vultures seeking to feed on the vulnerability of others. Moreover, you will no longer perceive your problems as insurmountable. As you begin to fight back, pushing away negativity and focusing on reality, you will start to see clearer exits and solutions to your problems. Now, Let's envision another scenario. Imagine being deeply disappointed by someone in whom you had placed high expectations. You anticipated their support, loyalty, love, and trust. You believed in the success of a business venture and had built numerous expectations within a relationship you wholeheartedly trusted. However, the foundation crumbled beneath you, and you fell hard. The emotional pain surged immediately, leaving you stunned and unable to respond to the overwhelming disappointment. You found yourself looking at the person you had trusted, as they attacked and hurt you, whether intentionally or unintentionally. First and foremost, regardless of the intense pain you're currently experiencing, it's crucial not to display that pain. Even though you may harbor a desperate urge to lash out, cry, or escape from that environment, 
it's imperative that you refrain from revealing your sadness and anguish to those who are watching. Even if you feel defeated and realize that you may have expected too much from others, even if you have been betrayed, it's important not to lose your composure in the presence of others. Despite feeling shattered inside, resist the temptation to show your desperation to others. Maintain your poise and allow the tears to flow later, when you're in the privacy of your home, away from prying eyes. In that moment, even if it's just you and the person who betrayed you, don't grant them the satisfaction of witnessing how deeply they have wounded you. By revealing your pain, you would only feed their pleasure or render yourself even more vulnerable. Therefore, in that precise moment, in the presence of others, stand your ground, remain composed, refrain from reacting, and calmly walk away. Create distance between yourself and the person who betrayed you or acted wrongly, without conveying the significance they expect. Turn your back and move forward. They also desire to witness your anger and frustration solely for their amusement. They want you to succumb to their wishes. Of course, you haven't lost simply because you were betrayed or disappointed, but that was the last time it will happen. Now that we have addressed this aspect, let's proceed to the next step. It's important to navigate through this situation without displaying your suffering to others, but that doesn't mean you won't feel the pain. It's inevitable that, as human beings, we experience pain in some form. However, I will explain how you can avoid becoming ensnared by that pain. Firstly, after experiencing deception, betrayal, or disappointment that shatters your expectations, find a comfortable space for yourself. It's crucial to isolate yourself in an environment that is warm and secure. Choose a place where you won't be tempted to relive that disappointment. There may come a time in life when you consider not trusting anyone anymore and shy away from taking risks. However, would such an extreme attitude truly be the solution after a disappointment? It's important to learn not to trust blindly and to protect yourself with caution. You must act intelligently and analyze the lies and illusions that others may try to implant in your mind. While you shouldn't completely stop trusting everyone and avoid taking any risks, you also shouldn't become someone who refuses new experiences. You shouldn't spend your entire life confined to your comfort zone, limiting yourself to the bare minimum. Realize that permanently fleeing is not the answer. Pain may instill feelings of shame and regret, but if you set aside those negative emotions, you will recognize that suffering is attempting to convey a message about the attitude you should adopt to avoid experiencing that pain again. When you grasp this, you won't settle for staying within your comfort zone but will instead venture into the unknown, facing new situations and experiences. The difference is that now you'll know how to act to avoid being naive and falling easily into traps. Although you may encounter more pain and encounter new obstacles with each attempt in every new adventure, you will emerge stronger, better, smarter, and above all, more admired by yourself. Remember that personal growth lies within your hands. Stay determined, learn from your experiences, and keep moving forward.